Mesa police officer Philip Brailsford was fired after he shot and killed an unarmed man three years ago in a hotel hallway. So why did Mesa rehire him last year for just six weeks so he could retire with a disability pension? Welcome back to Square Off. The 28 year old Brailsford will collect $31,000 a year tax free for life. Brailsford shot an unarmed, unarmed man who was face down on the floor begging for his life. The officer's defenders say the unarmed man appeared to be reaching for a weapon. A Maricopa County jury later acquitted Brailsford of murder charges. So this is a tough one. It comes at a very tough time for relations between police and the community. Julie, do the city of Mesa's actions make sense to you? The optics are really bad. I mean, the only thing that I can maybe think that as to why they did this was that, I mean, Brailsford um, was acquitted, so perhaps they were facing some kind of wrongful termination lawsuit, and this was a way to get around that. However, there still is a Department of Justice, a U.S. Department of Justice investigation. I'm surprised that they wouldn't wait until that investigation is concluded if that's how they felt, if they felt like they were cornered into doing something like that. And I, I should add one, one, uh, one fact here that uh, City Manager Chris Brady and Brailsford's attorney Attorney struck this deal. Uh, Brailsford could have appealed his firing since he was acquitted. Instead, they decided to go down this road. Eric. Yeah, you know, I, for, I think that that's an important thing to note is he was acquitted. And some of us may not like that decision, but he was acquitted. And therefore, he had a right to try to get his job back. He may have violated some department policies, and, and that may have been a long fight, but probably Mesa figured easier to let him come back and get that pension. Uh, that a lot of people will share in the cost of, if you will, than to fight this and maybe lose. And lots of folks are saying he was acquitted. City of Mesa told me, look, he was acquitted. And yet a police department does need a conviction of a police officer to fire that officer. And he was fired just two months after the shooting, so there were other concerns. There were other concerns, including conduct while on the job. I mean, there was a, a talk about some things that he had engraved into his weapon. Um, so they did have cause to fire him. Again, I'm surprised that they wouldn't wait for the DOJ investigation to be concluded. Um, that, that to me is a little puzzling. It's probably easier just to wash their hands of him and, and you know, say we're done and move on. Yeah. Okay. So now they're faced with some there's a backlash uh, issues, here. issues, right, yeah, There's right. a backlash, yeah. Okay, also last week, a federal appeals court heard arguments in a Trump-endorsed lawsuit that would kill the Affordable Care Act. Arizona's Republican Attorney General Mark Burnovich uh, is also behind the lawsuit. The, ca the case likely headed to the U.S. Supreme Court, perhaps next year during an election year. So, if you're a Republican on the 2020 ballot, do you really want the court to throw out Obamacare? Barrett? You know, I think it's important from an Arizona perspective anyways, is I think there's some effort uh, now underway to try to make sure that pre-existing conditions remain no matter what happens with that lawsuit. I think that's the linchpin to a lot of arguments from Democrats and something that Republicans are struggling with because they do believe in the pre-existing conditions. So I think you're going to see the Attorney General, Mark Burnovich, work with the legislature in this coming session to, uh, to ensure uh, pre-existing conditions uh, remain, e despite whatever the lawsuit ha whatever but happens to the lawsuit. If you're a Republican, Martha McSally, do you want to see the court, a court, throw out Obamacare while you're running for election? Well, look, yes or I, no? I, I think that the, the important thing is following the law. That's the most important thing. And if it's it's illegal or it's unconstitutional, okay. I think you got... Your Honor, you the got did not <laughs> It'll be a nightmare for McSally if it's thrown out because even if pre-existing conditions remain, you're talking about still another 20 million people that could lose their health care without the ACA. And, and the Republicans, even though they've said repeal and replace, they've only worked to repeal. They have no replacement. They have no plan. McSally has no plan. Uh, it's a nightmare for McSally. Got ended there. When we come back, why President Trump isn't targeting Phoenix in his nationwide immigration raids. Plus, our panel's fearless predictions.